Well, the season for respiratory infections has arrived. Fall and winter are when highly contagious infections start spreading rapidly, and there are a number of events in Philadelphia in the next week that could be super spreaders. Health reporter Stephanie Stahl joins us with ways you can protect your family. That's right. We're going to have fun, but be yes. safe about it. You know, tens of thousands of people will be gathering at a variety of sporting events over the next few days. It's those big crowded events where people can easily get infected, which is why doctors say safeguards are important. People will be packed into the stadium cheering for the Phillies at parties and in bars, too. The Flyers are also in action, and big soccer will be at the link. Doctors are concerned with all the gatherings, infections can easily spread. It also happens this time of year when the cooler weather has more people inside. This is a season where respiratory viruses uh, typically occur. Overall, COVID-19 levels are currently dipping, but it remains a concern, causing near all virus-related hospitalizations since the start of the year, according to the CDC. Several respiratory viruses traditionally start circulating now, including the flu. Doctors are reminding people about healthy habits to prevent illnesses. Make sure you're getting plenty of rest. You're eating healthy. You're exercise. Uh, you're taking care of yourself. This season, there are also vaccines to guard against three major respiratory illnesses, flu, RSV, and COVID-19. These are uh, effective for helping prevent uh, severe threatening infection of these viruses. So consider that. Doctors say if you're sick, stay home. That'll help stop the spread and protect those who are vulnerable to severe illness. It's not worth going for your social event or work when you can stay at home and hopefully prevent your colleagues or family members and friends from getting sick. And remember the importance of washing your hands regularly, one of the best ways to avoid getting sick. And doctors say people in high-risk groups, they should probably consider masking when they are in crowded indoor locations. We don't want our Phillies fever to turn into real fevers. Actual fever, you're absolutely right. right. <laughs> Got to be vigilant. Exactly. Thank you, Steph. Uh -huh. Appreciate it as always.